Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Quirkus Brewery, South Hams in Devon, and it's a bottle of their Prospect, coming in at 4% ABV. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. We've got a, a gold cap on this one. It's a bottle condition beer. Smoky opening. So we're going to pour this out, we're going to leave the sediments in the bottom of the bottle. But then we're going to kind of show you later on in the review what it looks like. But beer in the glass, it's a one finger, slightly off white head. Nice carbonation rising up the middle of the glass. It's a chestnut coloured beer. It's clear, no haze whatsoever. It's a very nice looking beer. Let's get the aroma on it then. Oh wow. And that is that is chock full of flavour. It's got hints of chocolate, caramel, biscuit. Almost a rumminess to the beer. It smells really kind of big and full and, and really bready and nutty. This is a big malt bomb of a beer. I've got to dive into this one. Cheers. Four percent, that's a really good session bitter. It's nicely carbonated. It kind of fizzes on the tongue. But whilst it's fizzing, it's releasing flavour upon flavour upon flavour of, of it's slightly vinous, it's nutty, it's bready, it's chocolatey, there's caramel in here. But the biggest two flavours in here that shine for me, or three, including the hops. The first one is the breadiness, the second one is the nuttiness. It's chewy, it's big. And, then, and last but not least, obviously, yes, it's the hops. It's got a nice, kind of fruity, British, kind of bramble, Brambleness about it. When I say bramble, I need to be a little bit more specific, don't I? Hedgerow, bramble, that kind of very English, British, fruity taste to a beer, that hoppy taste. Slightly spicy. It's a nicely balanced beer. But what I'm enjoying most about this beer, and if I was ever down in South Hams, I would look for this beer. If, say, there was a wedding, hot day, weddings at 11 in the morning, 12 o'clock you're hitting the reception, this is on the bar, it's 4% ABV, you can drink it all day long without embarrassing yourself, and it's a good tasting beer. In all honesty, I probably embarrass myself at the end of the night after I've drunk a fair few of these, but still, it's not a beer which... Because let's be fair, the beer industry is trending towards... 6% beers, 7% beers, maybe even 8% beers. But there's a problem there because you can't session it. If you wanted to session something and you were in South Hams at a wedding, for argument's sake, this would be the beer. That's lovely. That is what a good session British beer Premium ale, whatever you want to call it, should taste like. 
should be, should aspire to. It's really good. Right, I know it says on the back of the bottle to leave the sediment in the bottom of the bottle, but I'm going to show you if you've come across this review completely by accident. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you what a bottle conditioned beer looks like. So here we have a, a clean, clear glass of beer. And still, <laughs> we have a clean, crisp, clear glass of beer. Basically, uh, somewhere along the line, along the bottling process, where they were bottling this, there would be bottles with a little bit more yeast than others. This obviously hasn't got a load of yeast in, but you'll probably find later on down the line, when they get into the bottom, when they're barreling, when they're bottling the beer, there's going to be sediment. And what that sediment does is it gives you that lovely carbonation that I've been talking about. It's not a forced carbonation process, it's a natural carbonation process. It's called the second fermentation process. I won't bore you anymore. I will give you a final thought and a rating on this beer. Quirkus Prospect Quaffing Ale. It's really good. Really, really good beer. You've probably gathered that already. I'm going to go ahead and rate this. And for a Session Bitter Premium Ale, this gets a big solid 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for me, Low Craft Beer. It's just great for 4%. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.